Anti-aromatic compounds. Anti-aromatic compounds are cyclic structures. Each atom of the ring must have an unhybridized p orbital and the ring must be planar. The number of electrons residing in the pi electron cloud, either the pi bonds they form or solely on an atom, is equal to 4n, where n is an integer. But, in this case, delocalization of the pi electrons increases the electron energy, making it less stable. Thus, they are destabilized by conjugation. For example, cyclobutadiene is less stable than butadiene. Why is a conjugated cyclic structure with 4n pi electrons less stable? The answer can be seen in the molecular orbitals. Let's look at a general example that would have 4n electrons. The lowest molecular orbital has no nodes and is filled with two electrons, followed by pairs of degenerate orbitals. As the energy of the orbitals increases, so does the number of nodes. Each of these energy levels will have four electrons. However, in the highest occupied molecular orbital, the nth degenerate orbitals will only have one electron each, according to Hund's rule. This is a half-filled shell, meaning the electrons are unpaired. Hund's rule predicts that this will be a diradical and very reactive. Now you can see where the pattern 4n comes from. Two electrons from the lowest pi molecular orbital, four from each additional energy level, and two from the HOMO. Looking again at cyclobutadiene, the first pi molecular orbital has no nodes. The HOMO has degenerate molecular orbitals, with one node in each, and the LUMO has two nodes. Cyclobutadiene has four electrons. Filling in the orbitals, we see that the highest occupied molecular orbitals have one electron each. The highest bonding orbitals are non-bonding, making cyclobutadiene unstable and very reactive. Thus, an anti-aromatic compound is a planar conjugated cyclic molecule with 4n pi electrons and is less stable than its straight-chain counterpart.